Hi everybody, my name is Owen, and thanks for clicking on this video and hanging out with me. Uh, as the title of the video undoubtedly let you know, I'm opening a new guitar. And I'm opening a new guitar that is made of metal. That's right. I have with me here a uh, electrical guitar company, Tyranny. And I'm excited to see it. I guess um, one of the reasons why I decided to make this video was because I didn't see that many videos about the tyranny specifically online and for instruments that are like interesting and really well made I haven't seen a ton of stuff on electrical guitar company either. Electrical guitar company is Like, a little controversial, a lot controversial. I don't know, it depends on who you ask. Um, and, well, gosh almighty, this case is just like so nice. This case is like intensely nice. By nice, I mean like just, it's like a flight case with latches and stuff. I guess I'll, but you see, you're on a little tripod, so it might be a little... I'm a shorts shorts wearer, so... I don't know. Deal with that. So we got a nice SKB case. Not sure if I get the key with it. Um, I bought this used. I didn't buy it from an electrical guitar company. And... I just wanted to open it up. And document my first impressions. I'm really, ex I'm very excited. I'm pretty nervous just because it's new guitar day and you never know what happened in a sh like on the way over here. And it, granted, it's like not the most f fragile guitar ever made. Um, also, I should say that I'm not completely brand new to aluminum guitars. I really like them. But, I've never had a fully aluminum guitar. This is the first aluminum guitar I got. And it is Kramer, made in probably the 1980s. And the model is a DMZ 2000. DMZ means that it has DiMarzio pickups. These are super distortions, I guess. Um, the pole pieces, if they're not super distortions, they're something really close. And then we've got a three-way toggle and a coil split for each pickup. These guys are not fully aluminum, they are a wood body with an aluminum neck. The aluminum neck is one piece. It has kind of cutouts, U-shaped cutouts on either side that is filled with wood. And the fingerboard is made of ebonol, which I've seen some people say is the same material that bowling balls are made out of. I also have an aluminum necked PVT60 that's not at the house right this second. The aluminum neck that I bought from that was made by a beautiful bearded fellow named Scott out of his company Obscura MFG or Obscura Manufacturing. Um, if you watch the Fuzzlord channel, 
then you would have seen um, you would have seen Scott's stuff. His necks have made their way onto a couple of Jason's guitars, and Scott also does the or Obscura also does the powder coating for some of the fuzzboard enclosures. Um, I don't have that T60 because I'm move, <laughs> moving the neck. I'm paying a person who's very good at working on guitars named Daniel Fields to move that neck from one T60 to the other T60. Um, I loved and currently love this DMZ 2000. I also really, really loved and was very excited by how the solid aluminum neck played on the T60. Um, I hear a lot of people talk about like high end of the frequency range and more presence and more sustain. And that was all like true for me, you know, very, but like the most exciting thing I think was just how different the guitar felt. This feels a lot like a normal, like wood guitar with like maybe like a 20% sort of aluminum magic vibe, I guess. And then the T60 was like a big jump the feel of the neck, though, is really what sets it apart for me. It's like playing a concrete countertop. There's just no give. It's so hard um, underneath your fingers. And it is like, it's kind of fun and interesting to have noticed, like, oh, gosh, when I play this wood neck guitar, there's like a give here. There's like a certain amount of, like, digging in that I can do that I, you just can't on an aluminum neck. Um, I'm not sure that's a really helpful description, but it rings true for me. Um, I'm about to open the case, I promise. Um, I should mention, as far as electrical guitar company, otherwise known as EGC goes, I am not uh, super familiar with the Tyranny as a model. I know it's been made for um, a, a number of years, and for a while it was being offered as like kind of their entry model for 2000 bucks. It's not on their website as a model that you could order from them direct, but I understand that it's kind of on the, uh, what's that place in California? Where you like order things animal style off the secret menu, you can still get the, the tyranny. Um, and the one I got used has single coil pickups and it also has a fixed bridge and it's a string through body and it's a solid piece of aluminum that goes through the body and then the body itself is hollow with two pieces of aluminum that are joined. Three-way toggle, two volume, two tone. I'm like really dragging my feet because I'm so excited. Okay, the case that is open. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Okay, great. How oh, nice. I got an extra set of strings. And I got a, 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 a little note that says thank you from Alex. And Okay, okay. This is what everybody polishes their neck with. It is, uh, the body that I've got is brushed um, and the neck is polished. And this is Mother's Aluminum Polish, which people seem to like. And then we've got some stickers that read M-A-E. I have a sneaking suspicion that I bought this from a person who builds pedals. But I don't really dig into whether or not that's true. So if I did buy something from a pedal builder, then I'm excited to check out what that is. Let's see, we got some like couch, we got a couch strap that is black and silver. It's a nice strap. And. We've got this 
guitar. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Because the only thing that I'm seeing right off as being a... It's not a bummer I'm using that lightly, but the highest string broke. Okay. Here it is. This is in... This is the EGC Tyranny. It's in, it's in my hands. Look, it's mine. It looks like something just like grabbed and pulled on that on that string. I'm not sure what it would have been, but the tuner doesn't like nothing looks like banged around. So, I don't know, all right. Let me, let me think out loud, first impressions. Um, one thing that's a little tough for me to know. Is um, what to compare the neck shape with. I think one of the things that EGCs are really known for are like very slender necks like this way slender and this one's definitely thin I think it's definitely the thinnest I've ever played back of the neck is like like a shallow C shape it's not altogether different from I don't know maybe like an Ibanez neck or something this is like the finish on the guitar is like bluer in person than I thought. I'm not sure if this is anodized or like what I'm actually touching. Pretty cool that you can like hear all the, hear the hollowness to it. Switch is switching. I think the the width of the neck is nice. I don't know measurements offhand. I'm sorry if that is like really interesting to people. We've got locking Grovers. I guess a serial number reading 1470 and nothing visible at the base of the neck. I don't know what Alex had this set up. Whoa, the over to, I'm sure you couldn't hear that on the camera, but, but the, um, when you're doing that little, like, you know, fifth fret, seventh fret, uh, tuning situation, the overtones that were kind of coming off the guitar itself were like really exciting. Um, weight overall, it's like not, I don't know, it's not heavy, but I'm not sensitive to heavy guitars. I've got a Les Paul Special that's like 12 pounds and I really like heavy T60s. If I had to guess, this is probably like, I was like nine ish. Um, man, I just, I'm not sure what else to say. I'm gonna restring it. This is my, my first impressions are like, I'm really excited and I have nothing resembling like, you know, like a buyer's remorse reflex. You know, when you like, you open something for the first time and you go like, oh fuck, I fucked up. Like, I don't feel that way at all. I really like the body shape and the look of it in person. Feel sturdy. The polished neck, the neck that I've got on the Obscura, 
the neck that I have from Obscura is um, brushed like this body because I really like a, like a smoother feel. This doesn't feel like sticky or anything. Like nothing's broken. I mean, I haven't plugged it in, but you know, looks like a guitar, plays like a guitar. It looks like whatever broke that string didn't chew up the board or anything. Um, my understanding is that these guys are just like a solid block of aluminum and that runs all the way through the body. And then you've got these wings. You can see the edge of it. Like right there, kind of bolted on. Um, I guess that's it for first impressions. I don't do too many of these. I haven't done very many of these videos, but I, um, but I intend to, whether it be on this guitar or the other fun stuff that I have. I've been meaning to for a while. So in case you are interested, um, I guess go ahead and subscribe. And have you, do you like aluminum things? Did you click on this video because you're just interested in aluminum things? Aluminum guitars? Maybe you just like aluminum things generally and you were like, yeah, I'm clicking on anything that says aluminum. I'm so hype. This is super, it's great. 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 Man, see you later. See you later, I love you.